Hi, happy Monday. Welcome to Yoga for Rest with Loy. We're going to do some simple movements today to just help take care of our shoulders, a little bit of twisting through our torso, uh, and a little bit of bridging, heart opening. Uh, but mainly, most of our movements will be connected to finding a way to connect with our breath and move towards rest. So let's everybody go ahead and stand to begin. We're going to take some time here to just move our arms. Inhale your arms nice and wide. And then exhale, bring your palms together. Inhale wide. And then exhale, bring your palms together. Good. So again, with your inhale nice and wide, Sense yourself opening through the, um, your heart center space. And then as we bring our palms together with our exhale, let there be a little bit of um, fullness or awareness of the back side of your body. So inhale, opening your front. Exhale, stretching or rounding your back side. Inhale. And exhale. Good, now we're gonna inhale, take our arms up and over our heads. You're gonna to continue to stand, I'm gonna kneel so it's easier for you to see me. Exhale, take those arms down. So inhale, arms up and over your head. Exhale, take your arms down. Squeezing your scapula together, drawing your belly button towards your spine. Inhale, filling your rib cage. Good. Exhale, lower your arms down. Good. And as you're moving your arms down, we're going to take your hands all the way down and clasp your hands behind your back. Bring your fists towards your feet behind you. Again, rolling your shoulders, opening your heart center. Good. Release. Inhale. Take your arms up and over your head. Touch your fingertips over your head. And then exhale. We're going to change the clasp behind your head. Reach those um, fists down towards the floor, opening your heart center. Good, and then inhale, arms come up. Good, so now this time, exhale, when you bring your arms down, you're going to bring your hands, uh, crossing your arms behind your back. Inhale, release, take your arms up. And then exhale, now the other arm is on the underside. So now my left arm is on the underside and my right arm is on top. Inhale, arms come back up over your head. Good, continue with that connection to your breath. Exhaling and feel your arms cross. Inhaling, arms come up. Last one, exhaling, left arm on the underside, right arm on top, cross your arms. And then inhale, arms come up. Good. Exhale, hands come all the way down. Good. All right, and now we're going to move with our breath with an inhale up and then an exhale. Slide your fingertips down towards your toes. Good. And then inhaling, pushing through your heels, rise up as your lungs help you float up. Exhale, Inhale, letting the air out of your body, drawing your belly button toward your spine. Inhale, start to inflate and float up. Good. Exhale. This time, we're going to uh, lower down and bring ourselves out to a nice plank. Holding yourself and then exhale your knees down and shift back to a child's pose. Inhale, bring yourself forward, tuck your toes under, exhale, shift back to a down dog, and then walk your hands all the way back to your toes. Inhale to a halfway up, float your uh, lungs filled with air up, and then exhale, deflating, and then here comes the inflation of your lungs as you float all the way up back to stand. Good. Exhaling, feeling your belly button draw towards your spine, letting your ribs find their way towards your thighs. Walk 
yourself out, bring yourself into a plank, lower your knees down, exhale, shift that belly button draws towards your spine, child's pose. Inhale, bring yourself forward, tuck your toes under, exhale, shift back, walk yourself back, float up with your inhale, exhale, lower down. Inhale all the way back up to stand. Good. Here's our last time. We're going to exhale, sliding your fingertips down towards your toes, walking yourself out. Good. And with your exhale, knees come down and shift yourself back to that child's pose. Good. Now we're going to uh, bring ourselves forward with our inhale and bring our right foot forward to a nice low lunge. Sinking your hips down, drawing your belly button towards your spine. Good. And then exhale, taking that right foot back. Meet your left knee and sit all the way back. Again, to child's pose. Inhale, shift forward. Left foot comes forward, sink your hips down. Good. Feel the um, inflation of your lungs. And then here as your exhale begins, set yourself, rocking yourself back. Carefully take your knee to meet the other knee and sink all the way back. Child's pose. Good. Inhale, float forward. And I'm going to take my right foot and cross it over my left calf. And I'm going to exhale, shift back, drawing my belly button towards my spine. You'll sense some um, pressure in the back side of your left calf. Inhale, rock forward. Keep that ankle or shin crossed and exhale, shift back. This is uncomfortable. It feels like you're um, giving a strong acupressure to your calves or your maybe you even feel it at the top of your Achilles tendon. Inhale, float forward. One more time, if you want to change the location of your shin pushing into your calf, you can move it a little bit farther down or a little bit closer to the center of your, the belly of your calf, you can do that. So this is just an exercise in massaging the back side of your leg. Good, and we're going to switch. So now your left foot is going to cross over your right. Exhale, shift back. Draw your belly button towards your spine as you sink back. Inhale, rock forward. Same thing. If you want to adjust the position of your shin pushing through your calf, you can. Sink your hips back. Inhale, come on forward. Good, and one more time. Again, I'm lowering my shin a little bit down, closer towards my heel. Exhaling all the way, bringing my ribs towards my shins. Good, inhale, rock forward. And this time when we rock forward, we're going to take our right foot forward again to a nice gentle lunge. So let's move a little bit through our ribs, through our torso, and a little bit through our shoulders. Placing your left hand into the floor next to your right foot. Inhale, reach your right hand up towards the ceiling. Let your gaze follow your thumb towards the ceiling and draw your belly button towards your spine as you twist. Exhale, draw that hand back down next to the other hand. And then inhale, find your twist. Reach that arm up toward the ceiling. Exhale, lower down. Sink your hips down. Lower your left uh, uh, hip a little bit closer towards the floor. And then inhale, bring your arms back up. We're going to stay here. So as you exhale this time, bring your hand behind your back. And with your um, continued exhale, let your right shoulder drop down towards your uh, right knee. And then as you inhale, Open your heart center back towards the ceiling. Let your gaze look towards the ceiling. And with your exhale, lower your gaze back down towards the floor and your right shoulder back down towards the floor. Inhale, roll open. Good. Exhale, 
roll back. And this time, taking that right foot all the way back beneath the left knee, bringing yourself all the way back, sitting back, child's pose. Inhale, rock forward. Now we'll bring our left foot forward. Sink your hip down. Let there be some nice openness in the groin of your right hip. Draw your belly button towards your spine with your exhale. And let your ribs fill with your inhale. Good. So, uh, again, let's place that right hand on the floor next to the left leg. And then inhale, nice torso twist. Exhale, lower that hand down. Inhale, torso twist, right ribs moving towards your left thigh. Exhale, arm comes down. Inhale, open, twisting, belly button draws towards your spine. Exhale, bring your left hand down. Good, and just like we did on the other side, inhale, bring yourself up, let your gaze look towards your thumb. Good, and then we're going to, with our exhale, take that left hand behind your back and then drop your left shoulder towards your left knee. With your inhale, open your gaze towards the ceiling. Bring your right rib towards your left thigh. Good, and with your exhale, softening your belly button towards your spine, let your gaze and your shoulder roll towards your left knee. Inhale, twisting, gaze looks up towards the ceiling. Exhale, lower down. Good, place that left hand next to the right hand, bring your knee back, and shift all the way back with a nice, full, long exhale. Good, we'll inhale and float forward. Exhale and shift back. Good. We're going to bring ourselves towards a kneeling position. If this is uncomfortable for you, you can place a blanket between your thighs and your calves, or you can place a block beneath you. And we're going to bring ourselves to sit down on that block, or sit down on your heels, or sit with a blanket between your thighs and your calves. So we'll inhale, take our arms up and over our heads. And just as we did in the beginning, exhale and bring your elbows down, squeezing your scapula together on your back. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, this time clasp your hands together behind you. Good. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, elbows bend. Squeeze your scapula together on your back. Tailbone sit down into your blocks or into your heels. Inhale, arms come up. And this time we're going to change our clasp. So my left hand's going to be on top of my right thumb as I reach my hands back behind me, letting my uh, fist reach towards the floor. Inhale, arms come up. And this time I'm going to push through my shins and bring myself up to a kneeling position. I'm going to exhale my hands down and move that block out from underneath myself. But you can leave that there or a way to comfortably sit yourself back so that you're not harming your knees. It's also possible to fold your mat a couple of times if it feels uncomfortable on your knees to make a little bit more softness. So we'll do that inhale, arms come up. And then we're gonna exhale, hinge at your hips and sit back, bring your hands back behind you and let your forehead go down towards the floor. Inhale, rise up, arms reach towards the ceiling, belly button's actively drawn towards your spine. And exhale as your belly button pulls behind you softly, let's turn our head towards the right side. Inhale, rise up, Exhale, sit back, draw your belly down toward your spine behind you as your gaze looks to the left side. Inhale, rise up, fingertips reach towards the ceiling. And this time just exhale, sit yourself back, make any adjustments with your mat, and slowly make your way onto your back, 
side. Good. I'm going to keep my blocks close by. And I'm going to lower down and gently draw my knees in towards my chest. Taking some time here to rock gently from side to side, massaging the full length of my spine. Good, and then place those feet flat to the floor as wide as your mat. Reach your arms out into a T, and we're just going to do some gentle tipping from side to side. Good. Softening your belly as you exhale, as your knees fall to one side. Good. Inhale, fill your lungs, let your ribs expand through the floor, and exhale, belly button draws towards your spine and tip your knees. Good. Inhale, ribs expand, fullness through your heart center, and then exhale, belly button draws towards your spine. Reach the tip of your right knee as far as you can towards the um, lower left corner of your mat. Inhale, bring your knees back towards the center. And then again, exhale, belly button draws towards your spine. And now your tip of your left knee is reaching as far away as it can towards the top of the uh, right corner of your mat. Inhale, your knees back to the midline. And we're going to do our favorite stretch where we take our right foot, um, tuck it under your left knee. So my left hand is reaching towards my right foot. Good. I'm going to take my right hand and reach it up and over my head and get a great big stretch through my right thigh. And I have a nice open heart center. My tailbone is dropping down toward my heel on my uh, right foot. Good, and with, then with my exhale, I'm going to let that hip still hip um, lower back down towards the floor. My arm is bending back down. And then with my next inhale, I'm reaching, pushing through the inside of my left foot to tip over onto my right side, getting a nice stretch through my quad on my right thigh. Good, with my next exhale, bending my elbow, bringing my left hip down. One last time. Inhale, fingertips reach as far away from my um, right kneecap as I can. So I'm opening up the whole right side of my body. Good, and then here's with my exhale, I'm lowering my left hip back down to the ground, untuck my knee, and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. So the left foot is tucking underneath my right knee. Let that left knee fall down. And I'm going to take my right foot and reach for my left foot. If it doesn't hold, it's totally fine. It doesn't, you don't need to hold it. And then reach your left hand up and over your head. So you're extending that left hand up and over your head as you're, you're tipping over onto the, your left side body. Your right inner um, edge of your right foot is pushing through the floor. Fingertip of your left hand and the tip of your knee are as far apart as you can make them. And then with your exhale, bring your hip back down towards the floor. Inhale, fingertip reaches, belly button draws towards your spine as you reach and extend. Good, and exhale, belly button really pulls towards your spine as you lower your right hip down. Here it goes. Inhale, fullness through your ribs, great big expansion, lots of length between your fingertip and your left knee. And then with your exhale, your belly button is guiding your right hip back down towards the floor. Nice. All right, so let's pay attention to some bridging here. We're going to inhale and reach our arms up and over our heads as our hips follow. So we're going into a bridge here with our arms up and over our heads. And then as we exhale, sense your uh, back sides of your shoulders reaching up off the floor as you help yourself vertebrae by vertebrae, lower your, your back down towards the floor as your hips find their way to the floor and palms flat to the floor. So I'm not gonna lift my arms up until I begin my inhale. As my inhale begins, I can sense myself beginning to float and lift my hips up, reach my fingertips as far over my head as I can, creating a lot of length from the tips of my fingers to the tips of my knees, 
And then here again, exhale. As you reach your arms up and over your head, you're sensing your vertebrae working their way back down your spine, all the way, settling your hips into the floor and your palms down. Good. One more time. Push your feet through the floor. Lift your hips up. Feel that great big expanse between the tips of your fingers and the tips of your knees. Heels pushing through the floor. Good. And then exhale, bringing your fingertips up and over your head, helping your vertebrae find their way all the way back down to the floor. And then let's place the soles of our feet together and let our knees go nice and wide. Good, so you're gonna open your arms into a nice T. And let's take some time here to observe the fullness in your ribs as you inhale. Pushing the back side of your ribs through the floor behind you with this great big inhale. And then as you sense your exhale, you can feel your hips settle towards the floor. You can sense your ribs move down and towards the center of your body. Inhale, sense the expansion, and then the contraction with the exhale, your belly button's drawing down towards the floor behind you. And maybe too, you can sense the movement of your diaphragm, and maybe too, you can sense the movement of your pel pelvic floor. Seeing that those two diaphragm sorts of spaces are moving in concert with your breath. So with your inhale, your diaphragm is uh, drawing down to help create some expansion of your lungs to help all the, your lungs fill with as much oxygen as you can. And then exhaling and your belly button's dropping down, your, uh, your diaphragm is drawing up and helping to push that um, air out of your body. Good, inhale, the diaphragm draws down. Exhale, the diaphragm draws up and maybe you sense your pelvic floor draw. So again, just letting this be an opportunity for you to connect with your breathing and helping to release your knees closer to the floor. With your next exhale, let's draw our knees in towards the midline. Good, connect the wholeness of your feet through the floor and then cross your knee over your thigh. So we're gonna let our uh, toes draw towards our shins, and we're gonna let this left thigh drop down towards the floor as my foot makes it way down towards, its way down to the floor. So here again, I'm sensing a movement through my ribs, softening in my, uh, my belly as my foot makes it way down to the floor. With your next exhale, draw your belly button towards your spine and bring your knees back to center. Good, exhaling, letting your foot fall back down towards the floor, nice torso twist. Take a nice inhale, a nice slow exhale. And with your inhale this time, bring your knees back up. Last one. Exhale, belly button's drawing towards your spine. Let your gaze look over the opposite shoulder. Nice torso twist. Good, and gently drawing your belly button towards your spine, your knees finding their way back to the center. And then we're gonna switch which angle is crossing over. So now our right, our left foot is crossing over our right thigh. Good. Flex your foot and slowly let that foot drop all the way down towards the right side, letting your gaze look over your opposite shoulder. Inhale fully. Exhale fully, sensing that stretch through your left hip. And then with your next inhale, bring that knee back towards the midline. Good. Two more times, moving at your own pace. Good, with your exhale, your knees fall to the floor. Hold, inhale, exhale. And with your next inhale, bring that knee back towards the midline. Good, one more time. Exhale, lower that knee back up towards the floor. Inhaling, exhaling. 
And then with your next exhale, bring that knee back towards the midline. Good. And now we're going to use our blocks. So um, grab one block, or if you're using a pillow, you can use a pillow. We're going to head back towards our bridging. And this is an opportunity for an inverted position. So if you know that you cannot do inverted positions because your doctor has told you so, you can just um, stay here with your feet together and your knees out nice and wide. Or you can join us if you're comfortable going inverted and you can place a block underneath your hips. Remember that blocks have different levels, high, low, good or on its side. Good, so find the position, the height that works for you. And then let your hips settle into your blocks. Sense your hips evening out. Any holding that you've been doing your hips, let it go into the block. Good, you can rest your hands on either side of you, um, helping yourself to find some security and balance. And then as you begin to feel ready, you can take one foot at a time up and over your hips. So here's that inversion. So your feet are higher than your head. And I want you to be connected once again with your breathing. So as you inhale, you can sense your ribs expand. And as you exhale, you can sense your belly button soften down towards your spine behind you. Inhale, ribs expand. Exhale, hips fall deeper into the block beneath you. Good. Stay here as long as feels comfortable. Helping you to feel settled as your weight uh, is supported by the block. And when you feel like it's time to come out one leg at a time, bring your feet back down towards the floor. Good. Take your time, slide that block out from underneath you, and then vertebrae by vertebrae, make your way back down to your nice flat back. Heels extend out as far away from you as you can. Turn your palms open towards the ceiling and help your body create some length in the back of your neck as your head feels supported by the floor. If you have blankets or you have uh, socks or anything that you want to slide over your body to help yourself feel warm and comfortable transitioning into that more restful stage of our yoga practice. And then once again, connect your attention with your breath. Sense the inhale and the long, slow exhale, softening your belly. Inhale fully and exhale fully. Helping yourself to notice as your body falls more deeply into the mat beneath you with each long, slow breath. Notice your face soften. Notice your shoulders feel supported by the floor beneath you. Your palms softening. Your hips feeling held by the mat. And then let that, that sense of security and comfort travel down through your legs all the way down to your heels resting into the mat beneath you. And then continue to watch your belly rise and fall with each breath. Maybe as you connect with your breath, you can sense the exhales warming your throat. Or maybe you can sense your breath in your nasal passage. Just bring your awareness to the movement and the relaxation you feel with each breath. Continue to stay here in this resting position. 
forward and begin to feel ready one knee at a time you can draw your knees in towards your chest staying connected to your breathing the expansion of your ribs and the contraction of your ribs and it feels like it's time you can Tip yourself over onto your one side or the other and make your way towards a seated position. Bringing your palms to your heart center and your chin to your chest. Appreciating the time that you've taken to take care of your body. Connect with your breath. And prepare yourself for rest. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.